Please take it away. All right. Thanks, Anthony. Two days ago, we unveiled the world's first contactless wireless charger on this stage, and we can't wait to show it to all of you live. This is how we charge right now. We live in a tangled nest of wires. We're constantly replacing ones that break or get lost. And worst of all, if we forget to plug in, our phones die at the worst possible moment. Charging is a terrible experience. Thankfully, last Tuesday, a famous smartphone maker came with the solution, a new charging technology, the charging pad. I think we've all seen this before. The year was 2009, and the company was Palm. After all these years, it's still a pad. You can't use your phone while it's charging. It's kind of ugly. And worst of all, each section of pad can only charge one device at a time. So if you've got a lot of devices, you're going to need a ton of pads everywhere or a ginormous one to do them all. Mm -hmm. Pads are not the solution. So how do we get truly wireless charging? Well, three years ago, I asked the same question. I was a doctor working at the MIT Media Lab looking for a new way to power medical devices. And that's when I met Li Xin, a gold medalist at China's famous Tsinghua University and a PhD student in MIT's computer science and AI lab. And he had a breakthrough, an historic mathematical proof that unlocked the solution to wireless power by the bending of magnetic fields. Introducing Pi, the world's first contactless wireless charging device. Let's go to the demo, please. Could we have the camera onto the demo table, please? Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> so this is Pi. To use it, simply take a device, bring it nearby, and look, it's charging. And Li Xin can even continue to use the device and move it around in different directions. And then we can add a second device. And there we go, it's charging too. And we can add a third and a fourth. And it's not just for iPhone either. We're going to have an Android device out here. There it is. And it's charging. Now let's try something even harder, something that needs more power. How about an iPad? And look, there, it's charging too. We've got five devices now charging simultaneously at different angles from just one Pi. Back to the PowerPoint, please. Thank you. Now, in the demo that you just saw, you'll notice that the, cases have, the phones have cases on them. And to be clear, when the iPhone 8 and X start arriving, you will not need a case to use Pi. Similar for upcoming Android phones supporting the Qi standard. We built these cases to enable people with popular legacy devices to be able to charge, as well as to charge your tablets, which don't have magnetic receivers. Now, over the years, a number of other companies have promised wireless power. They've tried microwaves, ultrasound, lasers. None of these technologies are safe at power levels needed to charge a phone. You wouldn't be willing to live inside a microwave just to charge your iPhone, would you? Well, the FCC agrees and has blocked them. Instead, we built Pi around a safe magnetic charging standard. But until today, magnetic charging was very limited. You had to put a device down perfectly parallel to the receiver to get any power. But thanks to our incredible team and Li Xin's breakthrough, our patented platform can power multiple devices at any angle. It's safe, it's affordable, and it's FCC compliant. Our business model has two parts. First, we will sell Pi directly to consumers. We have over 50% gross margins and anticipate a very high lifetime value per customer. If you like Pi in your kitchen, you're going to want one in the living room, the bedroom, and in the office and enterprise. Second, we are opening the Pi platform for use by existing consumer electronics OEMs. We're already in discussions with several of them, and more on that in a second. We are backed by some incredible investors. Jeff Clavier from SoftTech, 
Hadley Harris from ENIAC, and Next View Ventures.